Yeah. What's good, everybody? It's NASA bringing you my first Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay. Now, <laughs> I've been I've been heavily, heavily negative about this game thus far for good reason, not for no reason. But let me get my gripes with the game out the way while you're watching this nice little gameplay. Nothing amazing. I've only played like I'm only up to level 24 now or something like that. 25. Uh, this was right now game made for like 30 minutes. So I haven't put an extensive night down playing. Uh, my f FPS skills have diminished since I've been playing a lot of MOBAs, aka League of Legends. So my aiming and stuff like that needs to improve drastically, but it's getting there little by little. But anyway, my gripes with the game. My gripes with the game is that... Oh, look at this guy get worked, son! My gripes with the game is that... Well, first, the gunplay. Steady aim is essential on SMGs. Now, most of the time, steady aim is traditionally in the third perk slot. And has to compete with either ninja or uh, or something to see the claymores or something to avoid explosives or or something like that. So it's no, it's not always the obvious like oh just pick that and uh, we got it right. Just pick steady aim without you know we don't need ninja. You don't need anything else. Usually you don't want to take steady aim because it's it's usually in a pretty competitive tier. In this game, you have the, look. I have a laser sight right now, so you don't need. You don't need the uh, the steady aim, you know. I mean, what, what what the hell am I talking about? You don't need to equip steady aim as a perk because now you have it as an. It's oh, I didn't have it here. That's right. I thought I was bugging out. I just picked up a gun that had the, the laser sight. But that's the whole point. You don't need to even equip steady aim because now you can just pick up a gun or you could have your gun with a laser sight, and boom, you got steady aim. So not only do you not have to give up a perk, but now you can also equip like six perks, so you can have steady aim. Along with six more perks. Well, no, you probably can't because the wild cards. But I'm just saying you don't have to give up a perk. If, if anything, you can have. Look, and I get a two-piece while I got the shock charge. But you could basically have steady aim with three or four more perks, which is not great. Which leads to everybody just doing an off-the-hip fest. Which in turn makes the game seem less skill-based. Even though it's an arcade game anyway, it just takes away from the... Uh, from the like I outplayed you element because most of the time you just you'll be firing at guys and then you'll get hit by a guy who just held the trigger down off the hip and just blazed you up you know what I mean so that's one of my biggest gripes about the game my second gripe about the game is the maps head glitch central but I figured out a way around that you just have to use the head glitches yourself <laughs> if they're there you have to use them so my gameplay ends up being me running from Head glitch spot to head glitch spot while I'm rushing. Always ADSing when I'm coming around a corner or something. You just have to. You have to play that way. That's the way the map's design or the map layout makes you play. So, um, you know, I guess that's a negative that can cannot be so negative. So, you know, I don't want to say that's the end-all, be-all. But that's one thing I don't like personally. Uh, like I said, the gunplay. Um... And third is it just feels old. It feels like I've done this several years in a row already. And I don't know what I was expecting, but I just was expecting something more. And look, I pick up a gun that wasn't loaded. Ugh! It only had three bullets in the clip. But now what I do like about the game. I do like that the SMGs are competitive. Because as you know, I'm an SMG player. So having SMGs that are powerful is a plus. I like that they took out all the 20 clip SMGs because those are horrible. That was the worst idea to ever put in any Call of Duty. Look at this guy. Off to hit me. Did he off to hit? Oh, you can't see the kill cams in theater mode? I think he off to hit me with that single shot rifle. But I do like the SMGs because I like to use the SMGs. And I'm using the Vector, of course. You knew the Vector man was coming back. But the MP5 isn't in here, which is a huge disappointment to me. But... The vector, at least I got my vector, so I'm okay with that. And um, what else do I like about the game? Um, I don't know. 
I'm still trying to determine that. I was really, on, I was really about to just never play this game again, until uh, Claudio hit me up and was like, "Yo, let's run a few rounds." And I, oh my, I just failed on that two piece. But Claudio hit me up, said, "Yo, let's just try some games." You know what I mean? And I'm like, ah, you know, I'll play like two, three matches with you. You know? But I adjusted. I always say that I learn. I want to learn to beat the system. I want to learn to beat the game. I don't want to let the game control me and how I have to play. So I want to be able to play my way regardless of the situation. So that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to use my SMG and rush and, you know, go silence like I like to go to silence vector and still be successful and not be forced to play a certain way, which I thought was going to end up happening. This guy gets turned down, which I thought was going to end up happening, but um, I'm getting around that. And uh, I don't know what to say now. I went from hating this game, absolutely... Look at that guy, Dolphin Dive. What the, What are you doing? Dolphin Dive. But I went from total hatred of this game to, I don't know. It's like, now it's like a, it's like a, nah, you know. Nah. So I don't know. It's not really a review or anything like that. Just how I feel about the game so far. So I guess if I play more, it can improve. But, um, you know, it's all right. It's all right. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace. I'm out. New York stand up.